Hello everybody, thanks for watching. If you've not already done so, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, get the notifications of when we have new content available. Today I'm actually going to talk to you about Cisco's uh, Collaboration Solutions Analyzer. This is a tool that's built into Cisco's website and it allows you to test the global uh, configuration and settings of your collaboration solutions. Some of these settings could be DNS records. There's a lot of very specific DNS uh, service records that are required for a global collaboration solution. It's also going to talk about uh, mobile and remote access connectivity. So if you have something like a, uh, a RoomKit Mini or maybe a mobile device with uh, Jabber, this is you know testing from the perspective of these devices when they're off of your network. Uh, also, the ability to make a test business-to-business -business call, right? to have an endpoint stand up and uh, be able to actually make a call to it and test it or have it call you uh, either way. Uh, so with that being said, let's dive into it. I want to show you these tools firsthand and as we go through it, I'll talk to you about some examples of how you could use them for both troubleshooting as well as validation of your current environment. Hopefully you find this stuff helpful. Let's dive in and check it out. So here we are. We're at the Collaboration Solutions Analyzer. A uh, number of different tools are baked into this, uh, but first you need to navigate to it. Uh, I have the link in the video description, but it is, uh, it's pretty simple either way. cway.cisco.com slash CSA for Collaboration Solutions Analyzer. So uh, when you land here, if you're using Firefox or another browser, you're probably going to get a, hey, please use Google Chrome for better experience. Uh, frankly, I'm using Firefox. It works fine, but uh, you know results may vary, of course. Um, some of these tools I can show you firsthand. Other ones I got to be careful because it, it it is analyzing your environment, so it gives away uh, maybe not a lot of proprietary information. But it's uh, you know I'd be kind of pointing out a domain that you know then the internet would go you know bang on the door to try and get in. So um, first of all, log analysis uh, is a great tool. Give it a second to, uh, to load up here. But uh, this actually allows you to take logs from really a great number of different systems in a collaboration environment. Drag and drop them here and hit upload. And what it does, if you come under the about tool information here and hit more info, uh, it will visualize, do log visualization, right? So the ability to kind of see a call flow and, and better format it and kind of take the fluff out of the log because there's a lot of information in, in log files. Um, you can actually correlate data as well. So if you have, you know, multiple legs to a call, uh, in this example, conductor, C, you know, UCM, especially C and E, uh, and you know, it, sometimes it's helpful to just throw it all in there and figure out even where the issue's originating from. Right? Is there uh, you know, major delay somewhere, is there something being lost and where in the process is it? Because all, all the end user is telling you is the call's not working, right? So the ability to, to troubleshoot and nail down where exactly the issues are. There's also automatic issue detection. So the ability to throw the logs in and then recognize, hey, that, uh, you know, at this point in the call flow, uh, media stops or signaling breaks or whatever, uh, this tool will pull some of that out for you firsthand and then uh, you know you can address it accordingly so let's jump back to the list of tools uh, the next is collaboration edge validator so uh, this is I was saying about the proprietary info this is this is one uh, edge domain this this will actually test mobile and remote access so as you know mobile and remote access is a, another expressway feature it allows 78 88 uh, 100 series phones, both of those, uh, Jabber, uh, video endpoints, and so on, to actually come back through Expressway, register to CUCM, uh, and there's authentication required for that and, and proxying of, you know, registration info and everything. But there's a, you know, there's credentials that go with it. So this allows you to test that without, you know, having, I don't know, a second internet connection and having a, uh, you know, a, a bunch of stuff set up to, to test. This tool will kind of do that test hybrid for you. So anyway, you type in the domain for your um, system or for your environment, type a username and password. Now, I, I would use a burner account. I mean, this Cisco is going to be pretty trustworthy, uh, but uh, you're typing your info into 
somewhere else. So I would use a burner account of sorts to do the testing and then delete it and make it go away uh, if you are in fact as paranoid as I am. So once you do that, you hit validate MRA and it is going to take you through uh, a flow here of you know what, what exactly is happening. It's gonna check DNS, it's gonna attempt to log in, uh, you know, shows you here the inputs and so forth. Um, we'll say, hey, here's, you know, the host analysis, TCP connectivity, SSL certificate validity, uh, and you can drill in and actually see the details, um, so on and so forth. And if there's something that breaks, you know, there'll be a red flag to, uh, to indicate that. There's also um, DNS records that are not supposed to be resolved, right? So uh, if they are, in fact, resolved, that'll light up red as well. And these are typically the records that you'll use on-prem instead. Uh, again, I mentioned certificate checks. You can see the certificate chain information once you drill in. Uh, details, you know, is there a single sign-on enabled? Um, you know, so on and so forth. There's a lot of details here. Uh, you know, checks against cell phone registration, IMP server connectivity, and uh, so on and so forth. So currently, the only the major limitation does not currently support setups where single sign-on is used. And, and actually that's probably good because that would, uh, you know, there'd be some security that would break with that. So anyway, uh, check out the, the Collaboration Edge Validator as well. Go to the third tool here, and this one actually I think I can run for you. Uh, this is the SRV Checker. So if you drill into this, um, you just type in a domain name and we'll type in one that everybody knows to, you know, the, everyone is kind of beaten down the door of anyway, uh, you know, already anyway. So, uh, uh, Cisco.com. So we'll hit that. We'll let it run for a few moments here. All right. It took maybe 60 seconds. Uh, once the tool runs, you'll see that the Cisco.com domain has uh, you know the results have been returned so here are the service records now you see the collab edge is not there's not a record for it so that means there's actually not an MRA domain for cisco.com now cisco.com pretty vast organization obviously uh, probably has a different domain that this is under so take uh, take that for what it is of course this is your environment that you'll be using it on so you'll be able to uh, you know you have some documentation to go with it now on the other side of things though we have a number of gateways that have SIP uh, secure TCP connectivity for SIP signaling. Uh, so that's going to service record is actually going to resolve these four systems. Likewise for SIP TCP uh, in the clear, right? So if, uh, the ports that they run on is 5061 and 5060, respectively. There is the um, you know there's a number of different services here, right? H three two three uh, XMPP, uh, this is actually pointing, looks like, out to WebEx Cloud, so we can tell that Cisco is using WebEx Connect for their IMNP, not an uncommon configuration. Uh, and they have some of the uh, other services uh, turned off here, or not enabled SIP Federation, and uh, I'd have, I almost have to look into what that one is. But uh, anyway, all of the records are resolvable. Now, records that should not be resolved, like I said earlier, are the uh, internal records, right? So we see that that is in the clear. Uh, there's a tool here that checks TCP connectivity. So it looks like we are pretty good all around uh, there on the different systems, kind of a rehash of the above. Um, there are also some ports that are you know relevant uh, otherwise. So uh, SSH for administration, web and secure web are, are a few of them and there's some traversal service ports that we check as well so uh, dark blue is closed light blue is open so technically you could probably connect to the system now you're probably not gonna get anywhere but you can connect to the system uh, you know and see the administrative page of that expressway box there is also turn connectivity which it looks like this is all disabled um, but uh, but yeah if you have if you have questions of course check out the more info button uh, as you go through it consult the documentation and um, yeah kind of go from there 
So let's jump back to the last tool, and that is the business to business call tester. So if we open this up, um, essentially what it does is let you generate a space in a, um, uh, it actually API hooks into a Cisco meeting server. So it's going to create a space in the Cisco meeting server instance uh, and allow you to either call or to have it call you. So let's take a look at more info. Uh, give it a second to load here. So you'll get a, a screen like this. It will be timed. You only have a certain period of time because the uh, resources are finite. But essentially what it does is you it lets you call, you know, have it call you. So uh, type in a SIP URI. Uh, specify really the, the protocol you want it to use, right? Dial by IP, SIP Microsoft, H323, etc. Uh, so you can have it call you. You can call in, right? So type the SIP URI, uh, and there it is. Meeting number at B2B Cisco TAC.net. Uh, and the other option is to join from a browser. So you're trying to test video, I would suggest having at least two endpoints uh, in, right? So you can test the media end-to-end, uh, -end, right? So you wanna see video comes and goes without a problem. Uh, and then there's, uh, there's a couple more sets of details here. Once the connection is up, you'll see the participants on the screen, what codec they're using, packet loss, jitter, bitrate, and so forth. Uh, you know, if there's a presentation that uh, BFCP stream, uh, you can see that as well, right? What good codec it is, presentation, or uh, I'm sorry, resolution, frame rate, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, no limitations. The stats for Skype to or Skype for business presentation sharing are not displayed. Uh, just get Cisco endpoints, frankly. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Not really. Um, so with that being said. Let's jump back to the screen here and uh, wrap it up. Yeah, so uh, that's that's it. Um, again, what's new? We'll give you a kind of a history of what's been added feature-wise and about. If you need some additional troubleshooting or need some additional, you know, help finding finding things, understanding what the tool does. Uh, very powerful toolkit, particularly with those um, you know collaboration edge deployments. The ability to to test video, to test connectivity, so on and so forth. So, anyhow, hopefully that's been helpful. If you have questions, comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. Let me know what other type of content you want to see. Uh, as always, we'd love to have you subscribe and ring the bell to get the updates. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.